Now, Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Breaking down the fire danger across Northern California today, it actually looks to be slightly lower than the last couple of days and a couple of the big factors changing. One, temperatures maybe a degree or two cooler than yesterday. 86 to 91 degrees, the projected range for the valley. Winds, we'll still see them out of the south to 10 miles an hour for the afternoon, so that's not changing. But humidity also changing a little bit. That's going to be higher today. Between 25 to 40 percent earlier this week, we're seeing 15 to 30 percent, so that is a big improvement. Humidity staying slightly higher for your Friday afternoon, but fire danger still in the high range today as the fuels are still very dry across Northern California. So those could flare up very quickly. We could see winds this weekend also picking up and really pushing fires to spread rapidly. So that's going to be a concern. Temperatures now in the high 50s across the board for the valley. So you may want an extra layer on your way out the door. How about a 39 degree spotted in Chester right now. So a little brisk for mountain areas too. High 30s to mid 40s there, mid to high 50s in the foothills for the start of your morning. Winds meanwhile out of the east to around six miles an hour early on today for the eastern side of the valley, northeast to five miles an hour for Redding, but mostly calm for other areas. Winds to 10 miles an hour out of the south later on today. And we do need to mention by Sunday, we are looking at fire danger picking up a fire weather watch going into effect at 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon, staying in place through 10 p.m. Sunday night. For the areas you're seeing shaded here, that includes Lassen County to the south, a very small portion of Modoc County, then heading over the uh, border into Nevada. You can see this includes parts of Shasta, Tehama, Butte County, Foothills, heading down to the south as well. And the big impacts here, strong wind gusts out of the southwest up to 45 miles an hour and humidity down to around 15%. So that's going to be a problem for us heading into the latter part of your weekend and a big concern that we'll keep a close eye on for you. Getting a look at the air quality this morning, mostly in the moderate range for the valley, but some pockets like Chico into Orville seeing unhealthy for sensitive groups right now. The worst of the air quality still extending into the far northern zones of the state today. So if you're in the northern mountains, northern Shasta, Trinity, Siskiyou or Modoc counties, you're going to likely want to stay indoors as much as possible for today. Satellite and radar showing some clouds brushing the northern zones of the state this morning. That's about all we could expect to see from that cooler system passing through for today. By tonight and through tomorrow, we actually see that moving off to the east. High pressure builds back in, leaves us with a little jump in temperatures through the weekend. And then another cooling trend arrives Sunday into Monday, and that's going to leave us with a more substantial drop in temperatures heading into the middle of next week. Mid 80s to low 90s for the valley this afternoon, low to mid 80s in most mountain areas, with the exception of the northern mountains, where we could see a couple of low 90s today in Hayfork and Weaverville. And in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast, where your weekend's always in view, mid to high 80s today through Tuesday in Chico, then mid 80s for the middle of next week. Redding, low 90s today through Tuesday, mid to high 80s Wednesday through the end of next week's forecast. So finally, cool the weather on the horizon. And if you're looking to get out to the Butte County Fair in Gridley this weekend, make sure that you wear SPF 30 sunscreen to prevent sunburns. Also, keep babies under six months of age in the shade and drink plenty of water throughout your visit. Those are some tips from our friends at Enloe Medical Center, summer safety tips. And if you'd like to see more tips, you can go to enloe.org slash summer safety. Megan?